All right, everyone. Welcome back to Surviving Mars. I'm Afro Luigi, and we are this episode. We are going to um, un make it so we can access the rest of the surface map. All right, now you're going to go get twenty concrete, and then one metal and one um, electronic. It's interesting how they have sometimes. Sometimes they have to go all the way, but. It's, Sometimes, actually, they have to go about the midpoint. Oh, okay, they have to get as close to the center as they can, I guess. I'm basically watching the rover to see when it starts loading concrete. Water's not... Oh, what's, not, what's wrong with the rover? Not the rover. Oh. Oh, it's full of waste rock. Hmm. Do you have a bunch of guys not doing anything? Yes, you guys are not doing anything. Get resource, yeah, and empty out. We need one metal. Oh, we got two. Eh, unload one. One electronic. Perfect, I did that math correctly. So now, where is our sensor post in this part of the map? Okay, it's up there. One, two, three. Wait, did I do that right? One, two, three. I did do that right, okay. Uh, I guess we're building right next to that crater. Oh, can we build on the crater? Now let's build next to the crater just so we preserve the crater. Let's stretch this out actually so we can uh, maximize our scanning abilities. I think it's going to be that one than that one, so we'll just put, slap that down. Perfect, the tunnel's being built. We have almost access to the upper level of the map. Sector scanned. Oh, you're out of water. You're full up on water again. Okay, all of you, go get some uh, waste rock. And you can too. Research complete. Go pick up some waste rock. Self-sufficient lighting, nice. Ooh, recon center. Um, not yet. Water reclamation. Not a lot of good options for tech. I think we have one down there. So where's the next one? If you're there, one, two, three. Oh, just at the end of the ramp. And the next one it will be one, two, three. Okay, it's up here in this icy area. Thankfully, we have self-sufficient sensor typo, so I don't have to worry about powering these suckers. Oh, stay there. You... You need to go get more electronics and metal. Uh, you guys go over here and start uh, digging that up. Oh, right. More electronics. Let's drop those off. Oh, this this is... Um, oh, boy. We're using up... Filling up our waste rock, aren't we? All right, we were going to check this. That's a uh, since we're 409, 390, 350, 251. 
Oh, new text. To the barren Utility crops we're not using. <laughs> and we're not using shuttles yet, so that was kind of useless. Okay. We need two electronics and two metals. Perfect. Now, we, now our rovers will start expanding out that way. Oh, we need to build. We need a way up there as well. Uh, right there is good, I think. That looks like it'll do. We're actually going to chop down a little bit of a mountain. Oh, what's? Oh. That's going to hurt. Okay, we didn't lose all our drones, thankfully. Still have a few operating. Anomaly analyzed. Nice. Anomaly analyzed. New text, that's what I want. Ooh, that's a good one. Underground trains. Oh, I'll save that one for later once we have a university. Improved productivity on farms out of drone range. That's an interesting one. We definitely want storage compression. Factory amplification. Sure, why not, actually? Because especially once our... This guy starts um, producing lots of metals. Actually, we're already at a surplus, aren't we? Yes, we are. Research complete. I think. Actually, so let's see how. What are we? How are we doing on electronics? Because I think it's time to build a train. What's the year range? That guy goes there. So if I build a train station there, I can reach basically everywhere. Build it like that to start, and we can start getting rare metals next. Right, I was right there. Is a vista there, and it was a standard metal deposit. This was a good uh, map for uh, Russia. That the transport. That's the transport. I should have grabbed three electronics and uh, metals. You know what? Go back and do that. Three sixty six, four eighty. Basically trying to, like I said, I always try to maximize the areas I scan for speed. 268. There, that's maximum speed for scanning. Anomaly analyzed. Sector scanned. Nice. Oh, Our anomaly analyzed. Our analysis initial is confirmed it. Chromium. To find such a rich deposit of such a rare metal, important was an understatement. 
The geological team couldn't wait to get their hands on the samples, but this was going to prevent the engineering team from smelting the materials for their ceaseless operations. The experts in mission control argued for hours, but the course of action was clear. Well, let's reduce the cost of engineering tax. That's best option. That's really the best option long term. Another metal deposit, especially over here, not that helpful for us. Helpful for us right now. Plus, by the time we're really by the time we're really at the point where we're ready to expand over here, we have shuttles and we'll probably be pretty close, damn close to having the mole hole if we haven't also moved underground. Uh, Hearts of Iron 5 is released. Finding 30 mil 300 million. A lot of anomalies explored shortly. Sector scanned. Unfortunately, we're not putting the scan. We're, we're not quite ready to start scanning. It. Ooh, anomaly so analyzed. We found kryptonite. It was because of the greenish yellow hue of the beryl crystals. The contrast with the red Martian dust made them appear almost alien. Even if they wouldn't make any of the colonists superhuman, they would truly give us an almost supernatural. That's not how kryptonite works, though. Ugh. Um, our plans at Mission Control included the introduction of a long-term nuclear energy solution for the growing colony, and the beryllium that we would produce from these minerals would be an immense help in this difficult mission. We would encase the nuclear fuel rods of our nuclear reactors in beryllium and make a good use of its incredible mechanical, chemical, and nuclear properties. Physics tech has been reduced. Resources are low. Close. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, that's my fault. Don't worry, eventually we'll be let our uh, rover back over there and it will, he will take over and maintain that thing. Sector scanned. Uh, another underground elevator instead. Actually, we have an elevator, we just need to build it. Oh, we can't build over. All oh, right, we can't build over yet. We might. Mm, I wonder if the rover will actually be able to con connect the two. There's more to the barrel. Hmm. Oh, that's what we why we want to start getting up. Well, so if, there's um in a few Martian. Eh, let's actually start researching them. Asteroid landers. Well, we'll have an attack to build extensions. Second. And the extensions will allow us to extend. This um, drone hub over that these modules over here. We've just found Beagle Two, or at least what's left of it. Over the years, over two thirds of the mission sent to Mars ended in disaster. The tragic course of events attributed to bad luck, human error, or simple to the inevitability of shooting blind in the dark, had created a dark humor revolving around the great galactic ghoul, which feeds on exploration probes and the mystery of the Martian Triangle. One of the best equipped probe missions to Mars was Beagle 2. 
which fell dramatically in the last minute before landing. Failed by the parachutes and the treacherous Martian atmosphere, the brave little probe crashed at a fatally high speed against the Red, Dre Red Desert. Reduced the cost of robotic techs by 10%. Nice. Nice. All right, now one, two, we can build there. Uh, yeah, that's it's on that side of that mountain range. Whoops. So one, two, three. We're building another scan sensor tower right in here. And then we'll send. Oh, we're low on water again. Resources are low. Research complete. Drone printing. Nice. Not what we need, though. Oh, that's something we could use later on, though. Sector scanned. All right, you're done. Time to go collect up all these uh, waste rocks. You go take care of that. Oh. Uh, okay, they're going after the resources. I think it's time to build a university. No, I don't normally build universities that early, but I really want that breakthrough tech. Where is... Oh, dumb education. Oh, we don't have the more. Do we get one for free eventually? No, we have to build it. Anomaly analyzed. There's Ooh. more to the barrel. Drone hub extenders. That's exactly what I was talking about right there. Actually, we don't need asteroid. We'll, we're guaranteed to get a, a whole bunch of exotic minerals from the underground. So I think it's time. Let's build, let's get a supply pod, bring in another RC commander from Earth. And it's time to go underground. Sector scanned. Just come in and dump all that right there. Oh, we're out of uh, places. Oh, no, we're not. Us. Oh, we're sort on drones is what's going on. Drones are all busy. Yeah, right, it's time to start at the fort four oh seven. Anomaly analyzed. Oh, more, more new text. General training or mega storage. That's still way down the tech tree though. The second RC commander is going to be used to explore the underground. What, is there still electronics there? There's still electronics there. The plus side with the... Um, Ooh, another breakthrough tech. Finally. Wonder what's gonna I wonder what's gonna be. 
because we're going to get four options. So that's the thing I like about the Breakthrough Randomizer because this map, like I've played it before, so like the deposits and stuff are in similar locations, but you never know what the breakthroughs you're going to get are. So each playthrough is going to be quite different. Like the breakthroughs we have, sure, capture asteroids utterly useless right now. We, we re the only reason we researched it was for the milestone for the sponsor. And frictionless same with, and frictionless with components, sure, that's great. It doubles the it increase basically doubles the amount of energy or so when wind farms produce. Ooh. Uh, okay, we, we read all those. If you guys want to read it again, you can pause it. Um, interplanetary learning. Schools can train the workaholic. Water pump increased by 100%. Martian diet, 25% less food. Or giant crops. Ooh. We don't have problems producing food. On the other hand, we only have... Water is something we keep getting shorted on. So, vector pump it is, I guess. Yeah, unlock the vector pump. Time to research too. Slap it on for research as well. How are we doing on... Ooh, we're only two anomalies away from a new rocket. Oh, there you go, dropping it everything, dropping all the junk off. You know what? Let's we should probably do this properly. Sector scanned. There's more to the Baron. More techs. Uh, Arcan Institute. We're not using dust repulsion. Not that useful. Can't, that's useless for us because of the uh, game rule. Micro G extra. Oh. We're not mining asteroids yet. So that's all. I am getting. I do not know what to research next at all. That one might almost be worth it just to, so to make the to tear. If if we research that and research that, it might almost be worth it to get rid of, of the. Uh, that. On the other hand, it might be actually more worthwhile to just tear this down once we build an electronic thing, and once we have a, uh, what are they called? Oh, are, are, you can reach all that. Perfect. What building is not working? The water extract. Oh. Great. And it goes right through our power producers. Don't tell me you're also going to go through that. Wow. You also took out that. Uh, can you get some electronics? No. Um, okay, you need to come down and help out down here. Sector scanned. Move over there. Okay. We have okay. We have one pipe. Wait, where's the leak? Yeah. Oh, the pipe leak's been taken care of. All right, all the leaks are taken care of. You can turn back on. You'll be fine. Come back up.
That was um kind of worrying. And then our luck's been holding out fairly well. Sector's what building's not working now? Oh, the station. Okay, that's fine. Do um, I can't remember. Do uh, these things transfer power? Oh, uh, depot management. We don't want f we don't want to waste anything. The only thing we really want carried on here should be rare metals. Grab all the waste rocks. Ah. I forgot about. I got distracted by other things. I forgot about the um, this guy, Max. Oh, another breakthrough. I missed that. Dry farming, water requirements. That's handy. Uh, schools, holization require less maintenance. Or we don't need that. It's either buildings require maintenance or water. Let's keep going with the water. Dry farming. Come on. Sector scanned. Okay, we have another rocket available. Come on, guys. Come on, I need someone to go repair that surface heater. Okay, you're on your way to the subsurface heater. Where are you going? Picking up metals? Well, that's not helpful. Oh, it's maintenance. Come on, maintenance. Okay, it needs water. There we go. And that was close. Oh, we're still short on energy though. Um, by how much? Fair bit. Ugh. What's using up all our energy? Ah, it's that dome there. Time to build another subsurface heater. This one using less. The colonists are on the brink of Yes, the I know. Sector scan. Man, we need more drones. I think that's what it boils down to here. Our entire issue is not enough drones. So let us remedy that, actually. Um, oh, we have a full rocket. Let's grab another. We have a... Uh, we might need you... Mm, 
We don't need anything though, so it's not really worth that. So let's just grab a supply pod because those are free for now. Load it up with some drones. Yeah, we do not have enough drones. Oh, you guys are storing things up there, you stupid. We're going to have to use the transport to unload everything from there. This is not good. We do not have nearly enough energy. On the plus side, we will survive this. Hopefully. What is t what is taking up so much water? Sector scanned. Oh, the subsurface heaters are sucking up all our water. And are they filling? No. There we go, that should be more than enough drones to get everything going. You know what we need to do? Oh... You know what, actually? Actually, we'll wait for that storm to pass and then we'll uh, drop the RC commander down on that transport. Actually, no, we don't want to do that. Hmm. A little bit of a pickle, I don't know what to do. Basically, I think I'm going to have to go suck it up. Spend a million, uh, a billion on moisture evaporators. You go back to Earth. This won't, um... Actually, the rocket might make it back before the cold wave is over. We will survive this. So I'm not too concerned. So I'm going to end the episode here. Next episode, we will um, recover from this cold wave. We'll survive it and recover. Bye.